What are the most important things in terms of making your edits effective, especially when you're dealing with dialogue sequences or action sequences or any time where you, you want to capture the audience's attention and hold their attention across the edit points, where you want your edit points to seem as invisible as possible. One of the most powerful things you can do is what's called a split edit, where the audio and video change at a different point in time. So it's a very simple idea, but it's a very powerful result. And in this simple dialogue example, I can show you an example of what I'm talking about. So let me just play this little sequence here. Thank you. It's the least I could do. I mean, I thought we were going to go out. So right now, at this point in the edit, uh, we the woman says thank, thank you. you. And then there's a pause. The and then we cut to the man just as he begins talking. Now... This is okay, but it's basically uh, by cutting to him as he begins talking, we're basically telling the audience what's going to happen before it happens. And what will be a lot more engaging is if we start hearing him talk before we see his face. And this can be done very easily. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you probably the simplest, which is to simply use a roll edit. So I'm going to select the roll tool and I'm going to hold the option key to select just the video. Right, so now I've selected just the video and I'm gonna use my little extend edit. You could of course drag this or use the keyboard shortcuts, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna play the playhead right until I want the edit to happen. It's the least I Let's say right there, he's the least I, and that's where we're gonna cut. I'm gonna press the E key and that rolls the edit. So now we're still looking at her face while he begins talking. It's the least I could do. I mean, I thought we were gonna go out, but. And so that very simple change, that just little thing of making the, vid the audio cut before the video has a huge impact, makes the, audio makes the edit more dynamic, makes the scene more alive. It's a really simple and powerful tool. And there's a, a, one of the best things you can do to improve your editing. And honestly, in most projects, in most cases, almost every single edit in the project should have some degree of a split like this. I tend to find that audio leads video, what we call an L cut, because it sort of looks like the letter L, uh, is more common than the case where we do a J cut, where the video leads the audio. And to me, that's because, you know, in real life, we hear things often before we see them. You hear something, and then you want to turn your head to see what it is that you heard. And you're sort of simulating that experience here. We're watching, and we hear him talk, and then we turn, turn our head or, or cut to the guy to see what he's saying. So it's a really nice way to engage your audience subconsciously so that they're sort of engaging in with your story sort of automatically without you really having to do anything. I'm going to undo and show you a different way to do that, especially in this case where we have a little bit of spare time, nice right? Time. So what we can do in this case is we can do one of those asymmetrical trims. So I'm going to take my ripple tool. I'm going to select the video as a ripple incoming and the audio as a ripple outcome. I'm going to press shift and option and that's going to select just the audio or just the video. And you see now what we've got is those edits are going in different direction. And now as I edit and I could drag, but it's a little confusing to do the dragging, right? You see what happens by drag. Basically we're creating a split edit dynamically. And in this case, we're taking frames away from the previous clip. So now we're, we get the same result. Thank you. It's the least I could do. I mean, I thought we were gonna go out. But in addition to just rolling the video, we also took away some frames. So here's before and then after. You see what we did was we, we got the same result of a audio leads video split edit, but by using that asymmetrical trim, what we did was we essentially uh, took away some of those frames of the first clip simultaneously. So we did two things within one step. We uh, both created an offset, created a split edit, and we also removed some of the frames from the first clip. So the two different ways of doing the same basic idea of doing a simple split edit where the audio and video appear at different times in your project. Very, very powerful, very important. And it's all, it really, it comes down to holding that option key or the alt key on Windows to switch, to basically control only one side of the edit, either the audio or the video. And you get that by pressing that option or alt key.